For the stability criteria example, we're going to use the default ship assistant. We're going to define the design condition. We're going to make sure to select the deck as well because the rollover calculation for the stability criteria goes past deck edge immersion. You want to make sure that that calculation completes correctly. We're also going to define some down flooding points. We'll place one on the bow, one about midships, and one on the transom. And mark all three as down flood. Now that we have a model set up, we can go into the command, which is Orca Stability Criteria. I'd like to define some terms really quick. Um, criteria set is a list of criteria from a certain source, for example, Coast Guard, IMO, or ISO. A criterion is a list of limits and can also be associated with a type of healing arm. A limit is a single inequality that the model must meet and a healing arm works in opposition to the writing arm, or GZ curve. Work is distributed with a sample criteria set entitled Sample Source. This criteria set contains a criterion for different environments and unit systems, but let's start by creating an entirely new set. So in this drop-down, we're going to hit New, which will bring us to the new criterion form. We can name our new criteria set, example set, and we'll name our new criterion, example criterion one. There are two options. We can create a blank criterion, or we can copy one from an existing set and criterion. But we'll start with blank. The upper half of the form has fields for the names of the set and the criterion, and a drop-down for the type of healing arm to associate with this criterion. Limits are defined and edited in the lower half of the form. The first drop-down contains the following options. Angle, which can be used to query a specific angle or range between two angles. Area, the area under the curve between two angles. The area under the axis is counted as negative. Flood height, which is the minimum distance from the points of interest marked as flooding to the waterline. These will be negative if they're submerged. Metacentric height. Writing arm, which does not take into account any healing arm. Writing moment, which also doesn't take into account any healing arm. Absolute ratio, which is the ratio of the net signed area under the writing arm curve to the net signed area under the healing arm curve. Residual ratio, which is the ratio of residual area under the healing arm curve to the residual area under the writing arm curve. And lastly, hybrid ratio, the ratio of the reserve of dynamic stability to the total area under the writing arm curve between two user-specified angles. The second drop-down will either have at or between, and it will restrict the limits to either a single angle with at or a range of angles with between. Let's start by using angle and we'll say between. Now we get to the first angle. There are eight named angles that are available for use. First one being deck immersion, which is the angle at which any point on the deck becomes immersed. Free equilibrium, which is the angle the vessel reaches when in absence of any healing moment. Steady equilibrium, which is the angle the vessel reaches in equilibrium when a healing moment is applied. Half freeboard, or the angle at which uh, half of the freeboard at equilibrium is gone. Zero freeboard, when there is no more freeboard. Flooding, when the first down flood point becomes submerged. GZ zero, uh, the angle at which the writing arm becomes negative, or angle of vanishing stability, also known as unsteady equilibrium. And lastly, GZ max, or the angle of maximum writing arm. These named angles can also be used with numbers, or a number can just be used. So, for example, we can use free equilibrium, and then we can also subtract 15. The next angle behaves the same way. 
let's use down flood. The inequality, we have less than, equal to, greater than. Less than or equal to, greater than or equal to, and not equal to. We'll say this angle has to be greater than 40 degrees. And then we hit add limit. Let's add a few more limits and call it good. Let's use a metacentric height at equilibrium greater than 0 0.2 meters. And a flood height at deck immersion greater than 0 0.3 meters. If we wanted to edit a limit, we select it, hit edit limit, the drop downs are repopulated, and we can change this to 0 0.25 if we wanted. We could also delete a limit, but let's just call this one good. You can also import or export criteria sets. Importing Select an XML file that is in the appropriate format. Hit open. And the extra criteria sets are imported. Exporting is the same way. Sample export. and your file is exported in the correct format. You'll notice on the form right now that it says healing arm type none. If we decide to select a criterion that requires a healing arm type, such as toe line pulling metric, it will tell you that no toe line pulling healing arm is found. And that's because we don't have any healing arms defined for this model. If we're going to find one, here it would list all of the healing arms that are currently defined. In the other form, it will only list the ones that are applicable to the selected criteria. In this form, there are tabs that are related to each type of healing arm that can be defined. Under each tab, there are three different ways that the healing arm can be computed. It can be computed from inputs, and those equations are available in the documentation. It can be computed from a maximum value, where you input the maximum value and then declare the distribution to be used. Or you can enter a custom arm in the form of a spreadsheet. Let's go ahead and define two toe line pulling arms. We'll use toe one, computed from a maximum value of two meters constant, or yeah, let's do constant. And let's do toe 2. Using a cosine distribution. Now you can see toe 1 and toe 2 appear right here. Healing arms can be imported and exported much the same way as the criteria. Healing arms are stored on the model, meaning if you created a new document, these two healing arms wouldn't be there. However, criteria are stored globally, meaning they would be there. Since we want to compare the two, what we'd do is we'd select toe one, come down here and select add definition, and do the same thing for toe two. If you wanted to remove a criteria from this list, all you'd have to do is select it and hit remove. But since we don't want to do that, we'll add it back. Let's also add our example and see how we do. As you can see, deck edge button is now enabled. That's because in our example, we need a deck edge. So we can hit that, select what we want our deck edge to be and hit enter. Now, we can let her rip. 
The stability criteria calculation takes a while to compute. This is because a wide range of angles is used for the rollover calculation, and then different angles are interpolated and computed individually to make sure that we get an accurate uh, number for the angle at which um, deck edge immersion or GZ0, et cetera, get, uh, get computed. The report generated by the stability criteria analysis is similar to the report generated by rollover analysis, but with the results of the criterion listed at the end. As you can see, there's a line item for each criterion that we evaluated, and there are condition details for each criterion evaluated. At the end of the report, we list the criterion name and which healing arm was applied, the limit, the value of the left side of the inequality, and whether or not that limit passes. So in this case, uh, all three of our criterion are passing, and uh, that's it. To see more videos, download a demo, or purchase a license of Orca 3D, please visit www.orca3d.com.